how strong you are, how flexible you are at the moment. Okay? Oh, no. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Yes, the carrier, yeah, the carrier looking after the house of our lover by this week, next week. Okay? Well, let's go. Starting, same thing, massaging. Okay? So taking a breath in. Oh. Yeah, and then rolling down her back. Go slowly rolling down. Mm-hmm. I'll deal your hands closer to the floor. Yeah? Check how flexible you are at the moment. <laughs> yeah? Can you reach with your fingertips, oh. with your palms to the floor? And then see it, yeah, drop your knees down, sit in the child position. And again, little check how close you can place your bottom cheeks to your heels, how flexible is that area. It's all about how flexible the muscles around your lumbar spine and your quartz muscles. Are they flexible enough? Okay, and then we're sitting up, getting the roller under our bottom cheeks and starting massage of our glutes. <laughs> so go to shopping. <laughs> right, yeah, rolling over the sitting bones, then over the lower back. Take your time, enjoy. Yep, remains hip heavy on the roller, <laughs> easy on your hands and your wrists. We will use them, so don't don't need to prepare them. <laughs> okay, and then we go on one side. 11 o'clock, left sacroiliac joint, rolling forward back, then extending the left leg and tilting left right. And then vice versa. No, go deeper. That's one. Okay, yep. Again, just take your time. Four, six times each movement. Nicely, slow, make it big. Tilt in. And don't forget a little rest when you finish that sequences. You just like breathe and then slowly breathing out, melting down on the floor, relaxing. Very good. Okay? And then we are. Moving down and the roller going up, right? And this time it's already there. Here. We're already there. Yeah. Oh, oh the they did it. Okay, go on the other side. <laughs> I noticed some of you in the bit position. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> oh, do. <laughs> you're in a weird I'm version of reality. I can tell you don't need me with this. You're one. in a time walk. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're ahead of me. You're definitely ahead of me doing that stuff. Even that, right? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, just because there's no newbies. Oh, I'm like a newbie every week because I can't remember for me. Oh, this you remember. <laughs> yeah, so Everybody much. remember that one. <laughs> and, the, and the hamstrings and the glutes, all of this stuff. Yeah. We all remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just don't forget when you finish some particular moment in a particular area, then we have a little rest there. Yeah, it's usually three movements. Yeah, like along the tish, tissue, across the tissue, and then gently like pushing into it. So make it like a sponge. Perfect. Okay, so that's done. Then we're sliding off the roll and drinking water. I have a little new habit. I'm taking the water of my life. Oh. I have a three balls in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed yesterday all of us three balls. That's my oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, so now we are yeah, we placing the roller between our feet and our body, sitting a little bit to the front of the mat. I want you to just remind you a couple of times we're going to work on our core, okay? So we can go all the way down to the floor, yeah, roll back all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. If you feel like that too much, 
especially when you need to roll up after roll down, then you can place the roller slightly behind and go to the level you can do. You know what I mean? Yeah? Right, so all the way to the floor, roll down and roll up, or go on a little bit like behind and do your level, right? And let's let's start. So we are yeah, lengthening your spine first, lovely, and then we're breathing out through your mouth, like low, low in the candle, and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, go to the level you, is yours. In the lowest position, take your breath in, get yourself ready, okay? And then, yeah, in you on the floor, you'll get ready position when you're already taking your head, neck, and shoulders to the floor. And then you start to unroll, but not straight away. You wait for the core muscles to respond to your outer breath, Brian. <laughs> Told off, first time. Yeah, don't be desperate. <laughs> yeah, so you practice. Practice your breathing and practice awareness of your core, because we didn't do it for a while. It's just a good reminder for you. Try not to disconnect your feet. That's cheating. Okay, every time strengthen your spine. Feel the back muscles working as you, yeah, in the starting position when you're seated. And then wait to break by wait to break slowly. Mm -hmm. Always keep your chest open. Yeah, feel yourself off the floor. Wait to break by wait to break. Well done. Right, let's lie down all the way down now. All the way down, as slow as possible. So you really feel like you, da -da 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 you're really engaging. So you feel every single bone. Well done. So when we're on the floor, we're lifting the bottom up and placing the roller under our lower back. Again, we're going to do something we do every single time, whatever we do. We're always mobilizing lower back and keep massaging the glutes, uh, lower back lumbar muscles. So roll it in between tailbone and the top tips of our hip bones in the middle. Shoulders going down, ribs to the floor, chin in, lengthening now neck so you can see your legs. Feet facing forward, knees forward, feet give us apart. Pelvis tilt and tilt. Inhale, tilt, exhale, tilt. Okay? Try not to engage your glutes, press to your feet, take your ribs with you. Again, all of it we know. Again, we try to connect to our yeah, our movements to our breathing. Inhale, nicely feeling the stretch, enjoying it. Ribs remain quiet. Exhale, <laughs> feel the engagement in your core below your belly button and play a little bit with your pelvic floor as well. Yeah, pull it in and relax. Pull it in as you send your tailbone up as you do your tuck and relax as you tilt. your lower legs and we're going tilting side to side or bending send the knees inhale to the one side exhale lift inhale to another side lift again few things to remember shoulder blades connected to the floor and heavy pelvis remains heavy knees on top of your hips arms could be relaxed chin in so you can see your legs mm -hmm. good breathing again Easiest movement when you lay your knees go to the side this is inhalation and you exhale as you lift in the mouth. Things to feel is again your core muscles, so muscles below your belly button, different side. Feel, the, feel your obliques, so side of your torso muscles, lower ribs muscles contracting and stretching, depends where you are. Very good, well done. Okay. Right. So when we did four times each side, have we done? Yeah, then we stop in the middle, taking a little break, just relax, yeah, pelvis pushing down, well done. And then turn your knees to 11 o'clock, 
keep them together, give me four little circles, draw in a circle with your knees around 11 o'clock four times. Again, you relax, you feel good, it's nice and warm here now. So you get into your breathing, breathing and then finish the circle. Finish the circle, yeah, every time. Lovely, so when you did four, then we stop both knees facing 11 o'clock. Look at your legs, fix your right knee and circle only your left one, okay? See if how responding your body, how, how stable it is when you're doing it. Do your right knee actually feel and yeah, stay stable or is it be wobbly? Can you do the big circular and keep control of that motion? Do you breathe in, like inhale to start and then through the circle you're breathing out. You really can feel the core muscles working during that moment. See how healthy your hip joint at the moment. Is it popping, clicking, aching? Oh, that's completely fine and you, have, you can achieve range, nice range of movement. Okay, then we're connecting both knees together again. Both knees facing 11 o'clock. Little rest melting. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and then we relax. Okay, so we're going to repeat on another side. If you need to check your roll on the way, please check your roller. Tailbone top tips of your hip bones. Both knees together. Imagine a pencil between your knees. Draw in a circle around 1 o'clock. Inhale to start. Exhale to draw the circle. Actually, it's tiny, you know, like shallow breath in and then focusing on good so when we did four we fixed in the left knee we fixed in our body both shoulder blades connected to the floor nice long neck so you see your legs and you circle only your right one and you're already doing it fantastic well done okay check if that right hip joint it's the same healthy like your left one and then we relax Lovely. Let's drop our both feet down. Press through your feet, lift your bottom up, roll the roller down to yeah, away from your bottom and you stop and then the roller on the top of the back of your thighs, legs extended, hands supporting our lower back, palm string massage. Again, everybody knows what to do. Yeah. Draw in an infinity sign with our knees. Feet relaxed. Make sure you're not engaging your feet because we still have this. Yeah subconsciously your body tightening the muscles which it doesn't need to tight at all to engage yeah like your feet so you don't need it it's just totally relaxed and then extend the both legs and melt okay next position roll in the middle between hip and the knee same orchestra conducting movement a bit smaller because we need to press legs a bit deeper to the roller so to feel to feel the massage to feel the flush twisting against the roller and then again we just extend in the legs and we relax make sure again you're not contracting your neck yeah, on the way. So if you always check, okay, what can you see? The ball in front of you or behind you? Then pushing the roller down, closer to our knees. Again, lower back supported just to feel nice. Press the legs down, keep them together, and then knees out, small movement out, and then knee in, knees in together. Relax our legs, relax our body, feel heavy and relax to the floor completely. Good. We just want, I just want you to do the lower legs as well. Okay, so just one, one area. Because at the end of the class, we're having an exercise. We actually need the mobility of our ankles. So let's push the roller down between the knee and your ankle, but a little bit more closer to your ankle than to your knee. So if you think about the lower leg muscles, that calf muscle bigger one here and the smaller one. So somewhere in the middle between those two. So we can, yeah, so we can massage simultaneously both of them. Okay, and then what we need. Legs together, press them against the roller and then bend and extend the knees. Yeah, that's it. Create a small movement, but try to press into the roller so you feel it. Yeah, so we bend and extend the knees, okay? Okay, and then, yeah, the same. 
same moment, girls, boys, when you turn in your knees to the one side. Yeah, and the same. Press a little bit and bend and extend. Do four, five, six roll, uh, movements and then turn knees to the opposite side. Face into the right, for example. And again, press the legs down and bend and extend. Okay, and after we did both sides, and then we turn the knees up again, and we're working through our feet, right? Let's get a little TLC to our feet. So flexing and pointing by circling four times outwards, four times inwards. Really working on feeling like you're stretching the joints in your toes, on the soles of your feet, top of your feet, ankles, everything. At the same time, feeling part of the roller, yeah, to, the, to your shins. Yeah, and then when we did four and four, and we're really focusing, nicely working more on mobility of our ankles, so we're flexing and pointing toes towards your nose and toes to the wall in front of you. Again, do your best to really feel that stretch. Mm -hmm. Ten times. But that moment's actually amazing for, your, for the blood supply for your legs, so if you, I don't know, have some problems, yeah, your feet getting cold, or you've got varicose veins, or anything, and then any blood-related, yeah, issues in your leg, that's a very good one. On top of that, obviously, mobilizing through your ankles and softening your calf muscles. And then we relax your feet after 10, and then we go through the motion, which might feel a little bit nasty when we turn in both knees to the one side all the way, and then all the way to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And we go for four, six times. See how so the muscles on the back of our legs, all oh, they're a little bit tight. Tight a little bit. Very tight. You have to have soft roller to Even on the soft roller, I feel fine. I even feel on the soft roller. Okay, and yes, so after we did this, we just relaxed. Melting, melting, melting. Okay, and then we will be ready to roll up, guys, right? Your choice, you can keep your legs extended and then take your arms yeah, in front of you where is the ceiling meeting wall, lift your head, neck and shoulders. Yeah, and then start to breathe out and slowly feel yourself on the floor seat up. If you fancy a little stretch forward, yes, why not? We do a couple of times, exhale, stretch, inhale, build the spine. Exhale, stretch, inhale, build the spine. Well done. And then we need to rinse yeah, our calves. So we have the roller just above our ankle joint. Just above our ankle joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yeah, knees, knees facing each other is like legs, letter X. And then you roll forward, back, turning your knees in and out. Yeah, and the roller going all the way here. Nicely massaging all the way back of the legs. Very good. Yeah, knees in, out. As you're moving backwards, your knees out. And then forward in. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger, Beth. Yeah, move your body. Yeah, move your body. So, yeah. I know you have long legs, so it feels like you need a much big, big, <laughs> big movement, yeah? Stronger arms, stronger shoulders. Okay? Very good. Okay? Fantastic. Let's push the roller back of the thighs, right next to our bottom. Again, a little bit forward, don't sit too much backwards because that's like very uncomfortable, right? Yeah, and use your core muscles to be able to do that movement. That's why that movement's a bit difficult for newbies, but very easy for you now. Okay, so after we did this, anybody want some water? Come on, let's drink. Do you want some water? I have three bottles of different things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking them all and I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, so we relax now, drink some water, okay? So let's get your soles of your feet together while you're drinking, open your thighs, yeah, and just stretch a little bit while you're drinking water, so we're not wasting any second of this valuable time of your life. Wait, it is. You made an effort, you came here, you go through all these pains <laughs> to feel much better after that. Okay, brilliant, right. So I think it's uh, front of the thighs now, yeah? Yeah, let's go. 
Don't waste your time. Go fast. Three minutes done. Okay? Do your best. Okay. Two things to remember. Working in a particular area, keeping the roller while you're working in a particular area in the same area, anytime you need to adjust, and look after your back. Okay? Look after your back. So start with roller just above your kneecaps, toes under, and you're rolling forward back. You only have four arms back, is it? Yeah. It's always make it harder for you. Yeah. Then go four times forward back, the knees facing down. And then you turn your pelvis to the side and you go forward back again four times. And then you turn pelvis to another side and you go forward back again. You see, I give you that instruction is quite fast, so I want you to go through that faster. Okay? And then we did four, four, and four. We turn it back to the center. Then you need to find your roll that didn't go up. So you push it physically, yeah, down to just above the kneecaps. And then you're doing that big movements when you turn your pelvis all the way to the left, to the right, and roll it stays stable, okay? Yeah, that's, then you rock in left, right, left, right. Good. Very good. And after that, we do our kick. So push the tummy and chest off the floor, flex the ankle, go kick, breathe out. Second leg. And then you can unhook your toes, relax your legs, and then relax your head on your forearms. Yeah, and find the heavy. You are heavy on the roller, and the roller just above your kneecaps. The area you just massage, the area you eat. Yeah, the area you need to be squashed now, yeah, with the roller. Good. Well, let's roll back. Bring your forearms with you so your chest and your shoulders supported, and the roller will be in the middle. Not the most graceful model today. But it's real, yeah. When you look in some YouTube videos, they're so good. We have a real broken model. <laughs> real broken model. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing the same four times forward back. Yeah, rolling on the middle. Then we turn and pelvis to the side. We go one, two, three, four. Turn in on the other side, one, two, three, four. Always keep that tummy engaged so your back is flat. Mm -hmm. So we did four, four, four. Then check the roller should be in the middle. Push your chest off the floor, engage your core, and tilt the pelvis left, right, one, two, three. Four times each side. Very good. And then keep each leg. Flat and really trying to reach the bottom. Then again, just melt. Are you warm now? Yeah. Everybody warm? I just the uh, the way you're puffing. <laughs> So let's put, yeah, let's move again backwards and bring your arms with you again. So we are on the top, same four times forward back when your pelvis facing down, four times turn on the side, and then four times on another side. Mm -hmm. Then stop and the big movements, right? Tilt in pelvis. See if we have a little bit of like. Yeah, tight. Little stones there, or weak stones. Rocky. Rocky mountains there. Okay. And then when we did tilt, 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 tilt to the side, then bring your both feet together, engage your core, pull your tailbone in, and then both legs kick in. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Relax, relax here. Don't go. Yeah, just completely. Feet on the floor. Forehead down. Completely melting. And then push back in the child position and see if we develop some flexibility. Can we, yeah, are you deeper onto your heels with your bottom? You can roll your roller forward, don't take it on the side, roll your roller forward, so we're going to do a little bit of rolling forward back. After we relax in this position, just feel again, just look completely heavy 
heavy chest, heavy head melting down, bottom going down, find your heels. Good. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And then we need to stick the bum up to the ceiling, extend your arms, place wrist on the roll of palms facing each other, and roll forward or back. So a little bit stretch for your back, a little bit stretch for your front of your arms. So you can start to press your core, your armpits down. Well done, enjoy. Yeah, the more you flex in your back, the better. So you're really developing that nice lumbar curve when doing this. So let's place the roller now on the side. So we start with very nice whole body stretch. Yeah, let's place the roller down on the side and you lie on your back. You lie on your back. Okay. You I'm not using that wrong. So once you, yeah, you just, you actually can lie or keep seated and watching uh, Sam, you go down, babe, you lie down. Yeah, you can watch. You can watch. <laughs> <laughs> Got the bottle bottle in your right arm. Oh, your right arm. So yeah, you just watch that. You just watch that before we go, right? Okay. So left leg extended, right. Right, left arm extended over the head. Over. Left arm, left oh, arm. Left yeah, and this one here. Okay, so the moment will be, you're going to place your right foot over your left leg, or then you move in knee to the floor, and this is always remains facing to the ceiling. Yeah. So when you're here, you're pushing your knee down, mm -hmm. and then you press a little bit to the arm, and you lift, you're always looking at your bottle, and you're reaching right up to the ceiling. Oh, gosh. Okay, and then you lie down. Yeah. Then you roll back, start and roll in with your shoulders, and yeah. then slowly back to the human position, lying down, and exchange the side. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start with your yeah. Let's start with your right leg extended, and right arm over your head on the floor. Okay. So left, you're holding your water bottle in your left hand. We're looking at it, and the point is your. Yeah, yeah, you, the arm with the bottle should be always perpendicular to the floor and no like behind you or away from you. That's why you keep an eye. It's always going to be alignment, hand, elbow, shoulder. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's cross your left foot over your right leg and place it on the floor. Then start to lead with your left knee. You roll in. You roll in until your left knee on the floor. Then you lie on your side and you keep an eye on your left arm you're pushing up to the ceiling and you reach to the ceiling reach 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 nice and strong good yeah and you keep your knee pushing down yeah well done and then you unroll but you unroll by pressing your upper back first so your right shoulder going down and then everything else follows yeah very good then exchange your arms exchange your arms yeah left arm over your head so right leg crossing over your left one, and you're leading with your right knee to turn on the left side. And again, when you turn, then you're reaching directly up. Watch your arm. Look at it. It's not behind you. Okay? Unroll. Shoulder blade. And roll in through your spine. It's a very nice, comfortable stretch. Yeah? It doesn't? It's not. You don't. Yeah. Yeah? Then we carry on both sides. Okay? So remember, first movement. You cross your foot, you place your foot on the floor and you lead in with your knee. So again, vertebrae by vertebrae, you're rolling through that spine to turn on the side. When you're on the side, yeah, look at your arm, make sure you have an alignment, and then press through your supportive arm and lift a little bit to the ceiling nicely. So you feel your core and then your yeah, obliques engaged. <laughs> yeah, we have six times each side. Well, as was, when was I talking? It's probably you did two each side, yeah? Yeah, probably to each side. So let's carry on. Okay, don't forget your arm. You're not looking at it. Well, you're rolling. Look at it and don't let it to go far away. Okay? 
Don't let it to go far away. It's going to be always there. Any of you, and it's perpendicular to the pen. Man, pen on the roof, I just laughed by that, like, okay, so what should I do today? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try. As you reach up, yeah, have a pause before you're reaching up. Take your breath in and then on the outer breath you're reaching up. Get a little bit of Pilates into that piece of therapist exercise. <laughs> Yeah, you lie on your side, take, take a pause, see if you're in the right alive, and then, and reach. Extended over here, that's fine. You do your level. Sorry, forgot to say, yeah, you don't have to go through any pain, but you know it, you know you're not going into the pain. Okay, have we done six and six? I think we did. Let's finish your last one, guys. I think it will be six and six. I know it's quite nice because the yeah, other couldn't stop you. <laughs> did you notice the difference between your left and the right side? Yeah, and strength of lifting and the flexibility. Yeah, it, this one definitely show how different, yeah, the flexibility and tension in our bodies. Right, so next one, let's sit up and drink some water and some, I probably need to demonstrate next one myself. Yeah? Because explaining it will be a bit, a bit, yeah. will be a bit tricky to explain. Okay. Yeah. So next one. Yeah, and there will be in options. Yeah, if some of us having a real problems, arm stress, you probably won't be able to do. It, then I'll give you another option. But originally, what I want you to do, we've been doing a bear exercise. Yeah. So the bear rotation now. So we're here and then we rotate. We're walking our feet. That we go on the coffee table. Yeah. In the coffee table, you can keep your both hands on the floor, and when you're in the right position, not somewhere here, yeah, you're there, then you're lifting your bottom, go down, okay, and then you go the same direction back, and you start on another side. Walk your feet, okay? That supportive arm, if you're strong enough on your shoulders, you don't need the one. You can keep it there and do everything on one arm. Oh, watch your shoulders. If you have any problems with your shoulders, hold on one arm. That's your exercise, okay? Alternative. <laughs> so we have alternative exercise is, is actually two exercises, okay? So one is the bear, how to hold, bear hold here, here. You hold it for up to 40 seconds, any, any from 10 to 40. When you did that, you're doing your thoracic rotation, yeah? One time, each side, 
hold in the back row. Again, 5 to 40 seconds rotation. And you did that four times, okay? So if you're doing that, it's four times as well. Four times each side. Or four times back row and stretch. So choose your options. Yeah? You can, we can all try. Go together with me. Yeah? You can all try, see how we'll go. Okay? Now let's go. Let's we try together and then we go. Right? Yeah. So let's go. So whatever you do, we all get into that position unless you're not doing it at all. And you just run a little bit of plank here probably. You just have a rest. Another option is fine. Yeah? So right. So if we're in a back position, so toes under, right? And bottom slightly below your hips, down level. And then you took your tail bullet. So whatever you're prepared to do, if you're not going to rotate, you just take your knees off. And then we're walking our feet. Walking our feet. And then together. And if you need support with your head, please take it down. Squeeze the both cheeks. Feel this nice coffee table. Go down. Turn around. Turn around. If you need a little rest in between, drop your knees down. Relax your wrists. Up to another side. Okay? So go four times each side. Here we go. Here we go. I'm watching you. Okay? No rush. Take your time. Take your break. And you, whenever you need it. Mm -hmm. Keep your chin in. In the coffee table position, don't let your head to go somewhere behind. Okay? Keep your chin in. Well done. Well done. Magic exercise. Be challenging. Challenging our flexibility as well as our strength. Anytime you have a rest, you're doing amazing, guys. Really. Can't do any better. It's a killer. Maybe. <laughs> strong. Yeah, so strong. Uh, strong next your strong. shoulders and your arms are tight. <laughs> That's really good. <sighs> you have a rest in between, have some water. Okay, I'm not going to take some more. That's easier. Very good. You know what? You look quite graceful anyway. <laughs> Anybody counting? Just don't know what to do it, babe. I don't I'm, see. I'm just. I'm not, I'm not looking. My hands are already talking. But see if it's, if it's hurting your shoulders, yeah, let's go to the second option. Easy it's one. We did four and four, or we just had enough. Four and four? Four and three. Four and three. <laughs> okay, let's have some water. Well done, that was really good. Brilliant. Yeah, you all did very well. A little bit of wrist, yeah, stretch. You can stretch manually there or you can place on the floor without pressing. Without pressing, don't press, just extend your elbows. Lovely, very good. Oh. Very good. Okay. Next one is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next one is super easy. Really to do. Shall I show again? Yeah. Yep. Get ups. We combine them with a little stretch. Okay? So I'll show you quick and then we go together slowly. So only one to three parts of it is this one. Yeah? So if you can't do anything else, except for this kind of stretches, yeah, you can just carry on doing this, lifting yourself up, stretching your back, stretch to the side. Okay? Yeah, that's the beginning. And then next part, third, here, again, yeah, we need to stand up, get up, 
Yep, the press is good one. So, and if your option is just go there, or if that's too much for our knees, then we can place your hands on the floor, feet together, and stand up this way, right? Yeah, this is about next is a balance challenge. We need to nice and gracefully go back. Yeah? Then we do a little stretch to the side all together. Then we do a little bit of Lisa stretch all together. Yeah, all this stuff. Yeah. Then we get our bottom again. And we extend in the leg and we line down. Oh. So ideally, we can do two times each time. Okay? Shall we? Come on, Manuel. That's good. You can stop. Yeah, you can stop at any time and just don't do the next part. You don't, you don't like to do skip on it, okay? And catch up with the part you, you think it will be all right for you to do. Yeah? It's only mandatory part is get up, rolling up and down. Always good for your core. Okay, let's lie down. A nice pilates way, ideally. <laughs> okay, and then we are bending our right yeah, right leg and have the, no, I need to do it with you because I can't oh, Yeah, I can't, yeah, so it's left leg, bend right arm to the ceiling, mm -hmm. okay? So let's make your breath and lift your head neck and shoulder, start to breathe out, let's sit up. Very good, right, so from here, yeah, we need right hand on, uh, left hand on the floor, alignment with your left hip. Mm -hmm. You need to find the position of that foot with you. Yes. 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 Right arm, right leg. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Same Which arm, same leg. leg. Right arm, right leg. Sorry. Yeah. So we need to press. Yes. To your right foot, left hand. Lift yourself up and drag this left leg to 90 degrees. Yeah. Well done. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's a hard one. That's a hard one. It's if it doesn't go, you can place your hand down on the floor. Yeah, place your hand down on the floor, support with both hands. Yeah, well done, good. Yeah, you see, we always find a way, right? So from here, your choice, as I said, hands, be, hands on the floor and lift, you lift yourself up or we go up together. Well done. Yeah, I know you will do it. Okay, yeah. take your breaths down nice and slowly, slide in the left leg to find me in a, again in the middle position. Yeah, the more graceful you do, the better. Mm -hmm. And you're placing the left hand on the side, alignment with your left knee, and be stretching. Be stretching and pushing the right mm -hmm. arm, that is the ceiling meeting the wall, and then finally stretching your lumbar spine. Breathe into it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Be more into lumbar spine. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Don't twist. You're in the right position. Ear on top of the shoulder. Then both hands on the both sides of your right foot. Put the bottom away for now. Okay, look at your knee, knee on top of the arm for 90 degrees. Then we slide in the left leg away without moving that alignment, knee hip, knee ankle. And then we transfer in weight ideally onto our pelvis and away from our hands, so hands are free. Right, lovely, good, feel the stretch, enjoy it. Lift your arm up if you can. Reach up to the ceiling, feeling the stretch in front of your torso. Very good. Another breath, and both hands on the left side of your right foot. Align your yeah, nails with your nails. Yeah. Good. And then walk your forearms as far as you can forward. As far as your fingers do, your hands, sorry. And then stay in there breathing. Breathing for four slow out breath. Excellent. Build that position up again. Right, grab your bottle. Look at it. Look at it. Reach up. Well done. Look, keep looking at our bottle. Placing your left hand on the side again and lie with your left knee. Keep looking at our bottle. Yeah, pressing through right foot, left foot, and left hand. Bring your left leg forward. Keep looking at our bottle. Take your breath in and lie down. Okay. Excellent, well done. So we did one side, one time. Let's exchange your arms and legs. I think we'll warm up to this one. Okay, so exchange your left arm, left knee bend. Taking the breath in, lift the head and shoulders. When you exhale, get into the seat in our position. Look, keep look at your water bottle. Stay in there. Okay, lovely. So we lean in on the right side.
and actually you keep it in line with your feet nice and tall, you're going to get the stretch, right? So you're right and right down, yeah. align with your knee, keep looking at your bottom and stretch and breathe them into your right side of your lower spine. Right side. And to the breast, press right side. Right side, breathe in, breathe in. Breathe in. Yeah, feel in, stretch, relax now. Bend your feet. Flex and point your Get into it. Flex and point your toes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we go back to the central position. Yeah, together, both hands going down around your left foot. Both sides, both sides, both sides of your left foot. Yeah, both sides, yeah. Okay? Okay, so check an alignment, knee, ankle. Yeah, press through your foot and hands and drag your right leg behind, so we're in a little bit stretch. Yeah. Yeah, and away now, away, transfer into your bottom like you're sitting there on your bottom. Eh? Yeah, and lift your chest up if you can, find the balance. Very good. Now breathe into that stretch and be reaching up your right arm. Fantastic. Yeah, couple of breaths, nicely stretching up. Excellent. And then both hands on the floor and trying to walk forward your hands as far as you can. Ideally, four arms on the floor. Breathe in here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Nicely relax and melt it. Then unroll, grab the bottle on the way. Look at your bottle. Reach up. Okay. And then we're trying to keep in alignment. Yeah, your body is like, like a post. It's just bending directly to the side. Is it bending? Uh, no, it's bending. Which way? Yeah, that way. Right. Brilliant. Yeah, and then we need to press to your left foot, right hand, and drag your right leg forward. You may need your both hands on the floor, okay? This is an option. So, okay, we're keeping the butt leg bent. Which one it was? Left one, okay? Nice and slowly line down, exhale, okay? I think we have time to repeat it one more time, shall we? Yeah? One right arm, arm, left knee bent. On exhalation, sit up. Now we need both hands or one hand, it doesn't matter, to drag your left leg behind. Fantastic. Walk from? Yeah, another one. Yeah. And your toes. Okay. Well, yeah, well, if you're not experienced cramp, we get in there. <laughs> and we lift it. She's yeah. not drinking water. <laughs> so no never, never. Either. Only cocktails and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Tea sometimes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well done, my dear. Let's slide down into the yeah, into oh. our starting position again. Oh, really careful. Yeah, nice and gently. Uh -huh. Okay, all the nice alignment. Okay, now it's going to be 90 degrees. Yeah. Adjusting, adjusting, adjusting yourself and the stretch, stretch for lumbar spine. So bend on the side, hand on the floor. Okay, try not to twist. Reach, reach with your bottle, bottle to the ceiling and yeah, and stretch. Are we missing something? No, no you're ahead of the time, right? Okay, low leg. Coming back, both hands around your foot. Please a stretch. Okay, low leg, well done. Yeah, sliding. When you slide, look at your, look at that lower leg, 90 degrees. Extend the arm. Yeah, open the hip a bit more, sitting up, reaching up to the ceiling. Champions, well done. The higher. Nice. And then both hands on the one side of your left side of your foot and trying to walk forward. Keep stretching. Couple of breaths here. Unroll, take your bottle with you. Get into that gladiator position again. Winner. Yeah, get your knees both 90 degrees. Okay, and be ready. If you if it's difficult for you to drag your leg forward only with with your hand up, just keep them down. And we need, yeah, keep them both hands on the floor and push and bring your left leg forward now. So you need to bend. You, if you're doing it, looking at your bottle, that will be ideal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then foot down and repeat on another side. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so left leg, left arm. 
Inhale to prepare, lifting head, neck and shoulders. Exhale, thicken up. Mm -hmm. Transfer your weight on the right side. Place your right hand on the side. Use your both hands if you need to take your right leg behind. Get into the nice and square position. Lift yourself up, find your balance. Then we need to exhale, press through your both feet and stand up if you can, if not, both hands down. Yes, it's last one, last go, fantastic. Yeah, are we ready? Slide it back. Left leg, yeah, oh, no. yeah, yeah, right leg. Right. Well done, well done, you got it. And then we are stretching. Yeah, stretching. Mm -hmm. Okay, nicely breathing into the lumbar spine, lengthening, reaching up under the ceiling, meeting the wall. Press equally weight on the both feet here. Yeah? Both knees, I mean. Okay, lovely. Back to the central. Water bottle on the floor. Both hands around your foot. Okay, now, yeah, press through your left foot and your hands and slide your right leg behind. Yeah, and then sitting up. Sitting up, weight on your pelvis, weight and reach. You see? Then every time is fast, is fast. No, that's not one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, so we stretch, stretch here. Yeah? That's one. Yeah, That's what we're stretching. Open, open side of your body. We're stretching. Yeah. Excellent. Both hands on the floor. Okay. Towards his left. Get back into the kneeling position. Press through your both hands if you need it to slide your right leg forward, or you can get water bottle, look at it, bend, and don't worry about it. Don't worry. Yeah, ideally you have about 10 kilos weight in your arm. <laughs> I'm joking. No. And lie down. Yes, very good. Did you have one? Amazing. Good job. So proud of you. Two more left. Two and a half. Right, so we keep lying now. Yeah, that's good news. We can keep lying. Bend your both knees, guys. Yeah, arms on the side, shoulder blades nicely pushing down to the floor, shoulders away from the ears, lengthen your neck, look at your feet, feet hip with apart, facing forward, close to each other, knees facing forward, shoulder bridges. Lifting now, left leg on the tabletop. Yeah, left leg on the tabletop. And make sure it's 90 degrees so your knee above your hip. Right, inhale, press through your right heel down, set the right knee forward, exhale, squeeze the right bum cheek and lift your bottom as high as you can. Inhale, all the way down to the floor. Okay, we have nine more. Working at lifting the both sides of your pelvis equally over the floor every time you lift in. Nicely, strongly, strong, strong engagement of your right bum cheek. You're really squeezing it to lift yourself up, okay? Watch the level. If it's not leveled, less lift, more level pelvis. Okay, working on a more level in it and more squeeze in the bum cheek. Maybe find the core muscles working. That would be ideal, right? Shoulder blades remains on the floor equally. Chin in. So we go for ten times. Very good, well done. So when you did your ten, then you can bring your right knee to your chest. Do a little massage for your hamstring because we don't want that muscle to overreact, to take it over you from your glute. So we massage, we tap it. Yeah. Swiss wheel, right one. Yeah. You need right. Yeah, I mean right. Yeah, because that one has been folded. Oh, can you keep that one here? No, you can do whatever you want with your left hand. You can do whatever you want with your left hand. Okay? And now we're placing your both feet down again, quite close to each other, and same we're doing with your right leg on the tabletop, okay? Right? So exhale and squeeze, push through your heel and stretch on your forward and lift, and down, and we go for 10. Take your own pace, really work on exhalation and engagement when you lift and find your core, you will, it will help to keep the pelvis level. Mm -hmm. Not shorten our neck, keep it in. Keep the knee on top of the hip. That will be easier for your body to lift that way and see the difference between the strength of your left and the right side of your hip stabilizers. If that massive difference, that's something you need to work at.
And I did that, then we cross your both feet, open your knees, yeah, and circle like a little bit. Extend and flex in your spine, massage it. Slowly circle, circle, circle. Both sides. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, let's place your both feet down together, knees together, and open your arms and knees going left, right, couple of times. Knees go to the side. You can turn your head opposite side to get the whole body stretch. And give me like two of those each side. And then we repeat the shoulder bridges again. Sorry. Okay, and yeah, and this time you can do six, eight. If you're happy to do 10 times each leg, please do 10 times each leg. Yeah, start with your weak, yeah, weaker mm -hmm. leg on the tabletop. Yeah? Mm. And then as you lift it, gentle press your heel down, stretching the knee toward the wall, and on the way lifting and holding, you're really thinking about squeezing the glutes, squeezing your back chair muscles. Okay? The closer you support your foot to your body, the less chance you have a cramp. So you all have it in the right position, as I can see, that's all good. without any comfortable stretches. Can I equal both sides? Lifting, breathing out, rolling down. Okay, so when you roll in to relax, grab your knees and then really like like you're you know, making a mash. <laughs> Stir and work through your pelvis. Tilt and tuck in, so get all the body moving again. Yeah, get all the stiffness, because that's quite stiffening you when you do the shoulder bridge. It's stiffen your body. So we don't want it. We want to finish the class nice and stretch. Okay? Well done. So from here, here we all get into the box position. Okay, so we're lifting ourselves up, nice using our nice strong core, getting into the box position. From the box position, we go into the downward dog position. Okay? And we hold it, I don't know, 10, 30 seconds just to make sure we can do it. Heels to the floor, elbow to the ceiling. Knees will be soft, heels can be over the floor. Chest pushing towards your legs, weight on your feet as well as on your hands. Head relaxed, look at your tummy. Okay, when you nailed it all, we breathe in and out. Breath, looking our hands towards our feet. In the lowest position again, taking a breath in, make sure our neck is relaxed, and then we unroll. Then we unroll. And then we have one more exercise. We will strengthen your legs, hips, and keep you more flexible and really challenge your balance up to all of it. So we get the water bottle in our hands. Okay, get it. So let's hold the corner. So we get left leg forward, right leg behind. Not the biggest one, not like full on, just it's like more natural big step. Okay? And from here we lift in our left. Heel up, 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 and you're lengthening. Oh, sorry, your right one. Lens is difficult. The left, right is so difficult. Especially both right. <laughs> okay, right, so from here, you need, um, yeah, just bend and reach with your water bottle to your left heel. Inhale, exhale, one. And we have 11 more. And enjoy this one's fun. Yeah, I'm really trying to reach to your heel. Okay. 